Nobody is using dating apps anymore. Men are done with online dating. I struggle on dating apps too. Unless you're fucking top 10, top 20% dude on dating apps, you are playing Russian roulette with your self-esteem. If you're an average dude, every fucking cylinder, chamber, whatever is fucking loaded. It's not a maybe that your self-esteem is going to get fucking crushed. It is a definite. No one's successful on dating apps. What we're seeing is data from Tinder is globally on Tinder, they have 1.8 billion swipes globally. But how many matches? 26 million. Wow. So that's a daily match rate of 1.8%. That's nothing. Men are done with dating apps, and it's a significant threat to these platforms because men are the powerhouse of the business. Women are not on dating apps because of women, even with the stories that men outnumber women on these apps. If men are absent from dating apps, it's bad business for the apps and disappointing for the women who are looking for high-value men. Dating apps are doing their best to get men back on the apps, but they are possibly going to hit a wall, like with their previous measures and updates. Bloomberg announced that Tinder and Bumble are gradually becoming a shadow of their former selves. Tinder was valued at $50 billion during the pandemic, but it's worth just $5 billion now. In 2021, Bumble was valued at $20 billion, but it's now a little higher than $2 billion. This decline is because many people are leaving the apps, and fewer people are joining. The number of people paying for Tinder services has fallen from 16.5 million to 14.9 million. This is a big heartache for online dating apps. Only older people are left on the apps, and younger people, especially men, are ditching the idea of using their hard-earned money on hopeless promises of finding love. Towards the end of 2023, Tinder decided to collect $500 from their users monthly in hopes of helping them find love. It sounds like the reason men are not finding love on the app is because they are doing it cheaply, not because of the delusion and hoflation of the women. There is nothing that sounds more foolish than this. They are trying to give men renewed hope that they can still find their soulmate on dating apps, which is all false. Dating apps are rolling out different features to keep men in the game, such as getting family members to help the delusional women pick. Instead of letting women push off their subscribers, the families and friends whom the women are trying to impress can now choose for them as well. Tinder describes dating as a team sport, where there are a lot of people helping users to find a date. Each time I see many of the features these apps constantly bring on, it makes me wonder if they think their users are fools. Who is bringing these ideas? They look dead from the beginning, especially to men who are caught in the lies of finding true love on the apps, which some people see as a money-making vehicle. Online dating is dead. Men are leaving. Why men should get off Tinder? Part two. Tinder's business model is set up in such a way to make you miserable because it feeds you this fantasy that if you pay them $15 a month for a gold or platinum subscription, you'll have a better chance of matching with a beautiful woman and finding someone special in your life. But the only way they can convince you to do that is to make you so miserable that out of desperation, you choose to pay them your hard-earned money. What kind of business puts an entire subsect of the population into a place where they experience deep and dark depression in order to make money? These dating apps are not businesses you want to give your money to or give your time to. Learn how to meet women in person. You will meet better quality women, your social skills will completely change, and you will become stronger and more resilient as a man as a result. What's not to like about that? For quite a number of years, it was men who were complaining about dating apps. It was clear that average men stood no chance on these apps because the women on dating apps are delusional. They only want the top 1% of men which is why only a handful of men get all the girls. These women only want tall, rich, and good-looking men on dating apps. Therefore, no average guy stands a chance of getting a match. An experiment was carried out between a 6 over 10 woman and an 8 over 10 man over 30 days on a dating platform. The 6 over 10 woman got 10,000 date invites in three days and slept with 10 guys, while the 8 over 10 man got zero date replies. This guy is 24 years old and has been on Tinder 128 days. He swiped 59,760 times, which is the equivalent of swiping 467 times a day. So he's definitely paying for gold. He only swiped right 183 times, which means he swiped right on 99.97% of people. So I really don't want to know what those 0.03% look like. But out of those 59,577 right swipes, he got 342 matches, which for a guy on Tinder isn't even that bad. So for every girl that swiped right on him, 173 swipes 
swiped left. Those 342 matches led to 162 chats, but he got zero dates. What I'm trying to say is Tinder is a fucking scam. Save your money, boys. Modern women's inappropriate and delusional desire for top guys has left a lot of average men out of modern women's scope of view. This is the issue now. Men are leaving the dating apps, as there is nothing but frustration and a streak of rejection on them. If there were a statistic for the rate at which dating apps are deleted, the dating apps would agree that they are in trouble, which they are aware of. Only the top guys, or those who are getting laid, are still present, but those few men available can't keep the business going for the apps. They need men to come back and pay to find love, which are just empty promises. The app does not care how many relationships, how many marriages they create. The app cares how much money they bring in short term and long term. Auto swiping right. It doesn't work with most algorithms. Reason being that if you are automatically swiping right, there are two things happening. Number one, the app is rating you based on how selective or unselective you are, and it's correlating unselective to unattractive in many cases. So you're gonna be seen by the app as less attractive. Also, if you are willing to swipe right on mediocre girls, the app has no incentive to show you attractive girls. So the auto swipe right strategy, which did actually kind of work in the very early days of online dating, absolutely does not work in most apps now. And that's something you need to understand because the algorithm will be against you if you employ such a strategy. Bumble is also striving to remain relevant. They are trying to help you date even while you are unavailable. So it's bots versus bots asking themselves if they are good for each other. When you are available, it tells you it has a date for you and you just show up at a dating site and either take yourself to the altar or get yourself laid. The actual plan is for the AI concierge to date a lot of other people's AI concierges for you and match you together. I find this particularly interesting because lack of proper connection is one of the problems faced in the modern dating scene. People don't have the space to know each other emotionally. They just match on the dating apps and pick a place to satisfy each other's needs. So, Bumble is offering to help users set up a program that will ask important questions, such as, what do you love doing? Do you love music? What's your favorite place to visit? After you get together, you find out she has a lot of emotional baggage. She is a single mother, and her body count is greater than your age. By then, your excitement has gone down the drain, and you are caught between being a gentleman and not walking away, and just telling her plainly, this was not what I expected. I just got finessed by Bumble. The dating apps and go meet women in the real world. There's nothing like that in person, face to face contact, and that's what women want. See, when a woman get on a dating app, she's looking for validation and attention. She really don't care about you. She really don't like you. She's faking it. But trust me, you can't fake that energy in the real world. You'll get way better results by meeting a chick in person and y'all talking and vibing than you talking and vibing on a dating app. The women on there be playing games. They really ain't into you like that. They just using you for your time and your attention. There are a lot of disadvantages to online dating for men. It leaves men with a depleted ego. It wastes men's time pursuing women who are not genuinely interested in them. And most women on dating apps are there to seek validation, with no serious intent involved. More importantly, it wastes men's money and leaves them miserable. These are valid reasons for men to walk away from dating apps. That's all for today on Manhood. Remember to drop your thoughts in the comments section, and don't forget to hit that like button, click the subscribe button, and also turn on the notification bell to be the first to know when a new video drops. Share this video with whomever you would like to watch it with. Thanks for watching. See you at the next one. Cheers.